All right, thanks for stopping in. Queso's Gunnarama is doing brisk business today. Firearm sales have been strong this season. Yes, because they're always strong during the holidays, but, says Queso's manager, Ryman Navoa, sales have also been driven by fear of crime and in the wake of San Bernardino, terrorism. I think it's a little bit of both. Um, you know, depending on what neighborhood you live in. People live in good neighborhoods and they still, you know, they see the crime on TV um, and they want to protect themselves from crime. Um, terrorism is also another thing. They see um, the thing in California that happened at a holiday party. So it could happen at any point in time anywhere. My husband works in the medical field and when Sandy hit, he was called into the city. I didn't see him for two weeks. And we live on the beach, so we had no electricity for four weeks and I was by myself. So I needed a gun. It was very scary. Just over a million guns a month are sold legally in the U.S. But statistics show that firearm sales also spike, almost double in fact, whenever government suggests a tightening of gun laws in reaction to mass shootings, as the president did in light of the attacks in California early this month. It's going to be important for all of us, including uh, our legislatures, uh, to see what we can do uh, to make sure that when individuals decide that they want to do somebody harm, uh, we're making it a little harder for them to do it. Well, he demonstrates that he doesn't believe in guns. He wants to restrict it. He wants to ban guns. And if he